So what do you do when you find yourself meditating, ruminating on thoughts of the narcissist? Listen, rumination is so intrusive and it always comes up at the wrong time where you just get stuck and sucked into a pattern of thinking about this narcissist. It happens a lot before you go to bed. It happens when you wake up. They come out of nowhere in the middle of the day. And how do you transition? How do you move on from that? You know, to ruminate is nothing more than to meditate. So essentially you're meditating on what was. The interesting thing about rumination is you don't ruminate on the bad moments and there are plenty of those, but you ruminate on the good times, the love bombing, the promise that didn't happen, the future that they promised that is never going to come to pass. And your mind takes over and it begins to build an image of this future that you are never going to have with them. Because first of all, they don't have the bandwidth to deliver on what they said. And a lot of times they're not even capable of cashing the checks that they write. But you see, you find yourself ruminating. You find yourself meditating on what was and what could have been denying what actually is going on. What's going on is that you're experiencing a soul hurt. What's going on is that you're in the middle of spiritual warfare and you don't know what to do. What's going on is that you need to fight fire with fire. When the narcissist came into your life, the first place and the first entry point is always in your mind. It's always in your mind. The thoughts start in your mind, they affect your heart, and they direct your will. The soul of a person. This is why they are called soul hunters. Your mind, your emotions, and your will. So that's how you fight rumination with your mind. What do you mean, Joy? How do I fight it with my mind? In Jeremiah 23 and 29, it says, Is my word not like a hammer that breaks the rocks to pieces? God's word is a hammer that will break those ruminating thoughts. You see, you got to get into the word of God. You've got to have scripture on hand. You've got to have it memorized so that you can fight fire with fire. Remember also that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. That is your weapon. So now you begin to proclaim and you announce and you make affirmations with God's head, with God's word. The mind of Christ is upon me. I will seek those things that are above and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. So I cancel every tailish thought that is trying to invade my thought process. Do it immediately. Don't wait. Don't give them those thoughts time to grow and to fester. God bless you.